to call out my next session on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us next, we have uh, Devika Bajaj, Managing Director for Devik Moringa. Please put your hands together and welcome her on stage. Devika Bajaj is an engineer with an MBA degree in finance and marketing from XLRI Jamshedpur and a mother of two kids. Devika Bajaj found her passion for making a substantial difference in people's lives after serendipitous encounter with the miracle tree of Moringa. And she's going to share about that. Please give a thunderous round of applause. Devika Bajaj. Welcome, Devika. So good to see you here on this uh, next conversation. And I would also like to invite Ms. Lena Gupta on stage, founder and CEO of Lena Gupta Inc. Um, Lena is a transformational life coach, a happiness and wellness expert, and the founder and CEO of Lena Gupta Inc. She has trained and coached more than 21,000 people across 25 countries over the last two decades. She's also a senior international faculty with the Art of Living Foundation for over 20 years, a TEDx speaker, and has addressed over 1,000 forums across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, my biggest question here is why doesn't anybody look their age these days? Mother of two kids, 20 years of experience, where is, where have all these years gone by? Is one question that the ladies must answer here. Thank you so much for joining us. Please take your seats on the panel. The session is on consciousness and well-being. Uh, let's go ahead with this. And uh, you know, since you're a transformation coach, we would like to hear how the knowledge only does not lead to transformation. What is that missing element that needs to be plugged in with the knowledge so that the transformation happens? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for a warm welcome. Uh, very good evening to all of you and the uh, esteemed speakers that are with us. What exciting knowledge sessions we're getting. Very, very amazing. I would like to talk about conscious wellness and the magic of Moringa. But before I do that, I would like to congratulate Devika on winning the BW Award for 40 under 40. So let's have a round of applause for Devika. Thank you so much. It's an much. amazing feat. No, um, thank you so much. And um, I'm totally privileged to be here and sharing the platform with such eminent personalities in the health and well-being industry. So thank you, Business World. It's a big one for us. Great. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about not just wellness, but being conscious. So what does conscious wellness mean to me? It means being awake and having discernment, having the gift of choice. You know, animals don't get that choice. We as humans have the power of choice. We can decide how to live our lives. And if we're conscious, we can have a life of design. But when we're not awake, we tend to make bad decisions. We get stressed, we get depressed, we get very, very anxious, Devika. Absolutely. So that's something that leads us into a spiral and a downfall. I think conscious wellness is very important because it allows us to take responsibility for who we are on every level, whether it's mental, spiritual, uh, psychological, physiological, we have to take prime responsibility for the way we live our lives. And I think a holistic approach is very important because rather than just treating a cough with a cough syrup, let's go to the root of the issue and see what is the, what is the lifestyle, what is the context, what are we doing wrong? Like look at the holistic approach. Absolutely. Would you agree? Totally. We need to see it from a 360 perspective. Yeah. And with my clients, that's how I work. And I feel that responsibility is very, very important. And the holistic approach is important. Absolutely. So Devika, I'm going to ask you the same question. What does conscious wellness mean to you? I totally agree with you, Lena. You know, it's a state of well-being that actually covers every aspect of an individual's life, as you said, be it spiritual, emotional, mental, or physical health. You know, I feel that our body is constantly trying to talk to us. Like Arpit, like Yasmin just said that, you know, um, our body indicates that you're full, but still you go to the desert counter at a party just to satiate yourself because it's available for free. So the ability to listen to your body and take care of it for long-term gain and not short-term pleasure is conscious wellness to me. And uh, yeah, I, I feel that the COVID, the pandemic has actually been like a warning to all of us. It has underlined the significance of prevention, self-care, of choosing the right products for an overall state of well-being. And I feel that, you know, this conscious uh, wellness is no more a luxury or a choice. It is a necessity for every individual to be able to lead a more fulfilling and happy life, right? So um, also, I feel that this ability of discernment making the right choices 
comes from a happy and stress-free mind. And here, Lena, I have taken sessions personally from you, and I know that you're a health and wellness expert, and you've trained 21,000 people across the globe. So, how can you tell the audience today that um, you know how can you how can we be conscious of having those happy and right thoughts? That's a fantastic question, um, and a lot of clients want to know that because they want to do the right thing. So, to get the right thoughts, it's a very very important thing. So. Let's first understand, Devika, we have 60,000 thoughts in a day running in our minds at any given time. So if you have 60,000 thoughts, that's a lot of noise in your mind. That's a lot of clutter in your mind, right? And one more thing we have to understand is that we have a tendency of the mind to vacillate from the past to the future. Past to the future. I see people nodding at the audience because the, monk, the mind is like a monkey. It constantly wants and it's churning information. So when, we, when the mind is racing from the past to the future, the past is bringing up certain emotions. It's bringing up neg negative emotions of anger or regret, or we go a different direction and we glorify the past. Now in the future, we all know what we do, right? We're expert worriers. We worry a lot and we're very anxious. So if the mind is constantly racing from past to future, imagine the toxicity that is going into every single cell of your body. And that's cre that creates disease and Absolutely. discomfort. So how do we come back to this present moment? I ask my audience right now, if I was to ask you, how much of your mind goes to the past? Approximately, you will say 40%, 30%, 50%. And if I ask you how much of your mind goes to the future, to all your future endeavors and projects, you'll say about 40, 50%. Let's do the math. If 40% is in the past, 40% of the mind is in the future, what is left for the present moment? What is left for this particular window where you're going to live life? Because the state of mind determines the quality of your life. So if you're not present, Devika, you're going to suffer. You're going to feel anxious. You're going to feel depressed. You're going to feel all kinds of things. How do we widen this gap? We widen it by using tools like breath work, meditation, coaching, a little bit of wisdom so that the right thoughts come into the present moment. Because present moment is where creativity is born, it's where insightful thoughts come, it's where intuition comes, it's where, where the inner guidance comes. And I know, I know for you with Moringa, insight was coming to you and the right thoughts were coming to you when you had a quiet mind and settled emotions. So that's very important and quality thoughts lead to quality action. So here, uh, Devika, I'm going to ask you and probe you further because there's so many herbs in the market, there's so many wellness products, and we're talking about quality thoughts leading to quality action. Conscious thoughts leading to conscious action. How do we consciously consume food? What should we, look, we be looking for? Because I know I also get overwhelmed with the kind of information that is out there. So why Moringa? What are the benefits of Moringa? Yeah, you're absolutely... You're absolutely right, Lena, because there's so much of overload of information out in the market and you are confused and you're holding on to several products and you're switching from one product to another. Uh, you know, you're not treating, we're, we're all not treating the root cause, but the symptom of any disease, you know, it's a fast world and with rising diseases, there, are, there is a huge reliance on chemicals that are fast acting that have their own side effects but it is actually leading to toxicity in our bodies, as you said, and a lifelong dependence on so many drugs. So in this scenario, we aim to create simple plant-based organic products that can elevate the quality of your life. We discussed that conscious wellness is holistic, right? Uh, it is basically living healthy from inside out, and Moringa is one such superfood that is wholesome in nature. You know, we've all had drumsticks um, in our Indian food, but uh, did we ever know that the leaves of this tree are a superfood? Uh, this tree is called the miracle tree because every part of this tree, right from the leaves, the drumsticks, the flowers, and the bark, they are so nutritious and medicinal in nature. You know, it's like growing multivitamins in your backyard. And um, in Ayurveda, it is so amazing that Moringa is called Sigru, which means it moves like an arrow penetrating the very bones and tissues of your body with its magnificent healing powers. And in Ayurveda, Moringa is actually claimed to be able to prevent around 300 plus diseases. And now modern science confirms it and touts Moringa as a disease-fighting superhero. 
So, you know, it is a powerful antioxidant that prevents the formation of free radicals in our body. We have to understand that why does any disease actually surface in our bodies and um, it is due to the presence of these free radicals that causes inflammation to rise. And if the inflammation is high, then your immunity decreases. If your immunity decreases, then your body becomes a subject to the attack of cardiovascular diseases, autoimmune disorders, and life-threatening diseases, right? So Moringa is naturally anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiviral, anti-ulcer, and it has hypoglycemic properties. Also, it is a very strong stress-zapping adaptogen. Uh, and adaptogen is a substance that actually um, finds what's missing in your body and it goes inside and treats it. Isn't that cool, Lena? It's amazing. So um, having Moringa on a daily basis has been proven to actually promote your mental well-being, to take care of your skin and hair naturally, to manage your vitamins, um, you know, keep them in balance and up your immunity game. So having Moringa on a daily basis actually is choosing wellness consciously, according to me. I think that's amazing. I, I think she got me at 300 diseases that it can uh, work on and cure. Unbelievable. I think that's mind-blowing that it can have one, one product can do so much good to our body and mind. It's incredible. I'm actually very curious to know, um, your, we've learned about the benefits of Moringa, so many things that it does for us. Take us back to your journey. How did you start? What was your what were your what were your thoughts or what was the journey to the being the brand being born? You know, Moringa sure. for you. So um, I'll just like to make a statement here that Moringa does not cure any disease, but it aids in the process of healing um, uh, any disease. So that's a disclaimer. Uh, yeah. So before starting this venture, I was working in my family business in the international marketing division. And in 2018, when I had my second child, uh, I was actually diagnosed to be low on certain vital vitamins like D3, B12, calcium, and I was overweight by 16 kgs. Um, I was very low on energy levels and was having excessive hair fall, like all the issues that come with not being healthy from inside. And um, yeah, I was put on supplements but was having a lot of side effects like constipation, acidity, acne, and I was just very uncomfortable popping in so many pills on a daily basis. It was then when through serendipity I came across Moringa, I heard Shri Shri Ravi Shankarji talking about it and I heard a nutritionist, I read an article uh, that Moringa is a very potent herb which can manage deficiencies in your body. And this line just stuck by me, Lena, because uh, I've always been a very firm believer in the healing powers of nature. And I wanted to experiment in, uh, it on myself. Uh, so I did more of my personal research and I came to the conclusion that it's like any other leafy vegetable, the leaves, and there's no harm consuming it. Also, I had few trees in my own organic farm. So, um, you know, I decided to put my supplements on hold and uh, started consuming Moringa on a daily basis. Um, in a matter of few weeks, I was so excited, Lena, to see a tremendous boost in lactation because I was feeding my baby at that time. Uh, in four to five months, I lost weight with no muscle or water loss. My energy levels were super high. My skin and hair quality improved. And in six months, when I got my blood test done, all my vitamin parameters just magically fell into place, and that was without any supplements. The most miraculous change that I saw that time was a significant improvement in my eyesight. And all these changes just intrigued me to probe further, to do more of scientific research. Um, and uh, because I was not consuming anything else other than Moringa in my daily regime. And I collaborated with some agriculturalists and nutritionists and we got clinical trials and lab tests done and to the conclusion that yes, Moringa is a powerhouse of antioxidants and vitamins. So um, I was, you know, it was like a viola moment for me. I had rediscovered the natural alternative for synthetic supplements and I wanted to bring this out to people, to my friends and family. So I decided, I, I started sampling, I started giving samples to people. And when I received feedback from them in a couple of weeks or months that, yeah, I mean, Moringa, 
help them help some in pigmentation or hair fall or immunity and many of them also said that they had been consuming moringa earlier but uh, the results were super effective this time so we also came to the conclusion that not all moringa is same you know the efficacy of the produce largely depends on the variety of the seeds the process of drying the leaves uh, and um, yeah the soil nutrients right so yeah this is how my journey began and i was just inspired to give birth to my third baby devik moringa devik means gift of god so many people feel that it's related to my name but it's not devik means gift of god and moringa is a miracle tree and uh, with people's tremendous feedback i realized that my passion lies in healing people this is amazing i mean uh, transformation such a big transformation you've had and that's how i think you've gone forward to using moringa to help people because it's worked on you um i myself have had transformations in my life and that's why i'm also out there helping other people it's amazing and what i wanted to tell you is devika i don't know if you know this but i am using your products i am using the uh, the skin care and the hair care and we'll talk more about that but it's doing wonders i'm loving it especially because i know it's wholesome i know it's grown in your in your garden just knowing that it's grown in devika's garden makes me feel feel better about it because i know it's pure it's organic and there's a lot of love that's been uh, put into it thank you so much and um, what i would like to know from you is how did you diversify from health the, the wellness products that you have and you have a good range to the skin care and hair care how did you diversify uh so lena the beauty product yeah uh, we started with uh, moringa powder uh, which is an overall nutritional supplement we have capsules and herbal teas but um, when we got the lab test done you know we realized that along with being super high in calcium iron fiber and all the vitamins like c d b12 and vitamin a it's extremely high in vitamin e and b7 which is a natural source of biotin so making it excellent for your skin and hair right um also we all know that skin is the largest organ in our body comprising of millions of pores through which what we apply outside actually seeps inside so why not moringa fortified skin care products that can that not only take care of your daily needs but also fortify your system from inside out with the essential vitamins rather than the chemicals that are there in the market so you know we presented um the power of the superfood and a lot of um, skin care products as well so we as a brand believe in um holistic wellness that comes from inside out because if a system is balanced from inside it shows on your skin and outer and uh, energy levels outside right so that's how like you know um we are a holistic wellness brand that offers health and skin care products to our customers Amazing. under one umbrella and here lena um I would like to understand from you uh, that you have been talking about a holistic routine yourself and how do you amalgamate uh, the ancient indian wisdom with the modern psychology and yeah you spoke about you've incorporated moringa products so how have you used our products in your daily routine so uh, devika the the wellness routine that i've curated for all my clients and i've uh spoken to you about it also it comprises of six steps and i think this routine is very very important because one any routine that you do cultivates discipline True. and it brings in that you know we'll say in sanskrit anushashan some amount of discipline helps you with long term prosperity you need that discipline to cultivate so that you becomes a habit so that's one thing second thing is you know uh the routine armors you like a shield around you it protects your mind and your emotions because what you want is uh, you know unfortunately we've not got the tools when we were young to handle our mind and emotions but when you have the tools you can settle the mind settle the emotions and stay very calm so the six steps really bring a lot of positivity and your your own body is like a factory of bliss chemicals would love to know those six bliss chemicals are released through your body through these six steps so i'm going to take you through them and of course the chemicals we know are endorphins serotonin dopamine oxytocin and so many more so the first step devika is first thing is exercise we all know that exercise is really important but more than that movement so for me it's dance movement therapy which i do with my clients as well i feel that takes me one step more than uh, higher than exercise because it brings me in a childlike state 
Do you all remember locking yourselves in the room, putting on some music, and just going crazy? It's a happy, innocent, stress-free state where the barriers drop and the inhibitions drop and it alleviates depression. So I think movement therapy of any kind, exercise, is superb for you. The second thing is meditation. You know, I'm big on meditation. Not only does it bring a calm, clear, focused mind, not only does it give us, uh, you know, focus with our work and productivity, but it also gives us feeling of safety and empathy. So how many of you knew that the vagus nerve that is connected from the top of our head to the digestive system taps into the vagus nerve and it stimulates and gives you the sense of safety? In today's world with mental health issues, we don't we don't always have people around us. You have to feel safe within yourself. You have to feel self-reliant also. So that gives us a feeling of safety. So meditation is covering that. The third thing is inspirational learning. What an inspiring conference. So many gifts here. So I like to listen to people who are sharing some wisdom, some nuggets, like we all have here. And, and it's very exciting. It it's, makes us enthusiastic and it gives us a feeling of dopamine. You know, that dopamine hit is there. We feel good. The fourth thing is very important. Uh, it's solitude. So we haven't been taught as kids to spend some time with ourselves, to cherish our own company, to nourish our own soul. So I call it solitude for solitude in my upcoming book. And that's all about spending some time with yourselves, you know, discovering your passions, discovering your purpose in life, who you are, what, you, what you're doing in your life. Only you can do that with a little bit of solitude. Otherwise, you're always looking for company. Yeah. Um, the fifth thing is service. Uh, Devika, I think everybody here in the Wellness Conference is offering service. And I think service is something that um, is so important for us because it makes us feel human, makes us feel purposeful. It uplifts our spirit and uh, there's a spirit of giving and only one who has can give. So if you ask me, the combination of meditation and service is an antidote to depression. Because if you're out there healing people, being with people, you cannot be depressed because you're not only thinking about me and myself and my world. And the sixth is the self-care routine in which I'm using your products and I'm loving them. I hope you can see my silky hair. I hope it's shining because I'm using Moringa products. Oh. I'm using aloe vera gel and uh, the serum I love. I love the texture of the serum. Mostly what I love about your products is that it's homegrown. I know it's, I feel safe. I feel my cells are very receptive to the product because, because I know it's natural. I know it's coming with a lot of love and you've devoted yourself to spreading wellness uh, through Moringa. And uh, speaking of service, you're doing a great service through Moringa yourself. So um, how do you, I would like to ask you, how do you, uh, how are your clients' feedback on lifestyle diseases? Like, that's what I want to know from you. Uh, yeah, I think these six points that you've, five points that you've mentioned, this, the sixth is skin care, of course, and that varies from people to people. Uh, so they're very important. And the act of service. So Lena, I feel totally privileged to be just an instrument in bringing healing to people in my small ways through these products. And like you, you know, we've been able to build a community of loyal and conscious consumers who have reaped the benefits of our products in managing a lot of topical and lifestyle uh, disorders like eczema, psoriasis, stretch marks, alopecia, uh, hair, fall, uh, hair fall, uh, dark circles. And, um, you know, there are people who come and tell us that they've been, uh, you, they've used everything under the sun and, uh, you know, they've abused their bodies for 20 years to treat an acute skin condition like rosacea. But a simple aloe moringa gel could come to their rescue. And it feels wonderful. It feels great. And this happened in Rachna Restores Award last December. Similarly, for health concerns like BP, cholesterol, anemia, arthritis, PCOD, uh, you know, there are people who come and tell us that um, they've seen remarkable reduction in the side effects caused due to cancer, liver cirrhosis, because Moringa doesn't treat, as I said, it, it just aids in the process because it leads to the formation of good blood cells. So, you know, our Customers acknowledge our products to be minimal yet effective amidst the plethora of options that are available in the market. And, you know, these kind of feedbacks are actually a driving force for the brand to continue its uh, R&D and uh, introduce products uh, that are holistic in nature and that can address pain points of the customers. 
um, I just feel that uh, you know it's so important healing through holistic wellness and it's time to rethink health and wellness by infusing health uh, by infusing holistic healing you know so I would love to put it to you Lena that why healing through holistic wellness is important oh it's extremely important I think we would all agree and having a stress-free mind and a disease-free body is our birthright. We just haven't got the tools in our youth to uh, make ourselves feel better and happier, but we all deserve it and we all must use these tools to live our happier, uh, healthier, and a more conscious life. Also to add to that, you know, the act of service. And also remember that one happy person makes the whole community happy. And one unhappy person is a burden on society. So we are not happy until the co whole community is happy. And that is where collective healing comes in. We are not healed until our whole community is healed. True. So healing is collective. Yeah. Absolutely, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you so much, thank Devika. You, I hope you enjoyed that chat. <laughs> We're open for questions, if any. Do we have any questions in the room? We have 30 seconds. OK, there is one. Let's just quickly take that. We have 30 seconds, as she said. Um, you guys look fabulous. And you both mentioned that you have kids and have a lot of experience. And you both are glowing. So just wanted to understand a little bit from you on how you keep your confidence levels up and the role of what you put into your body and how, the ways it manifests on your body. Because um, I'm on my health and fitness journey now and my body is a mess after a lot of working, working long hours, burning out. So kind of like how do you bring yourself to a place where you're healthy in all spheres? I think Devika and I have both said that service is a very important part of our lives. So Besides having my business, I'm part of an NGO for the last 20 years in the art of living and where I'm doing community-based projects. And I think service keeps you very uplifted. Um, the young lady who's asking the question happens to be my daughter. <laughs> and thank you for that. But it, it's about service and it's also about having that message that you want to share. I think that is very in, uh, exciting and it's also very invigorating to pass on your message. You, you have to find your purpose and then pass it on. I think that makes me feel very good. I would just like to add that uh, discipline is also a very important part that keeps your confidence levels up because I think that was your question. Um, you know, discipline, if you follow, uh, it's like saying I love you to your body, right? You do your holistic routine, as you said, and uh, when you're calm and uh, stress-free, that is like you know, keeping your conf I'll just give you my personal example. I was so stressed to be here on stage, but probably the last half an hour, I was just breathing slow. I was just breathe taking long, deep breaths, and probably, you know, that's the answer. Thank you. Thank you so much for that uh, absolutely amazing talk here. You've inspired so many in the room with your stories. And like I said, why isn't the age showing for anyone these days? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our guests for this session. Thank May you. I invite Devika on stage. Please stay with us for another couple of seconds. May I invite Devika to join us. We have our token of appreciation from Wellbeing Nutrition coming up for all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the ladies in the power suit. That is all four of us. <laughs> so please give it up. A loud round of applause for everyone who has been inspiring us since morning. Uh, is championing the cause of wellness, well-being, fitness, mental, emotional, spiritual detox. All of that learning is happening from this stage. We are at the second edition of BW Wellbeing Festival, the festival of well-being.